Atlanta's Route 15 trolley is being replaced with buses this weekend. The transit agency says the vehicles will get a heavy duty overhaul during their time off, but some transit advocates are crying foul. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe is live in Fishtown with more on SEPTA's plan. Howard. Well, this is the end of the trolley system. It's where those trolleys make their turnaround before heading out to West Philly. Now, SEPTA, they say they need over a year to make these repairs. However, some transit advocates, they say that they're concerned that these trolleys will never come back. It could happen, but I don't see that. That's usually what they say. They have promised to bring back other trolley lines, and they never do it. Mm -hmm. It's just what they say. Skepticism from trolley activist Scott Mates. He says he doubts SEPTA's Girard Avenue line will ever see a trolley again. But SEPTA says there's no need to worry. Our board chairman yesterday um, and our general manager both stressed that they are behind the, the repairs, uh, making the repairs to the Route 15 trolley and getting them back in service as quickly as we can. Scott Sauer is SEPTA's Assistant General Manager of Operations. The trolleys on Route 15 date back to 1947. They were most recently rebuilt in 2002. Sauer says each car has its own problems, but says some have structural issues and others need air conditioning and heating updates. They've had different reliability issues over the years that our maintenance crews have stayed on top of and tried to keep them in service. SEPTA says of the 18 trolleys in the fleet, only four are operational. While repairs are being done, the trolleys will be replaced by buses. SEPTA says the trolleys will be out of service through the year 2021. The fact that it's a historic trolley, you know, you get used to seeing the trolleys for some time, but, um, you know, I guess it's a give and take, you know, they have to be serviced. Now, SEPTA says they don't know how much the overhaul is going to cost. They say engineers need to look at all the problems first. However, the last time they rebuilt the system, the trolleys in the system, it cost them $88 million. Again, that service goes over to buses beginning on Sunday morning. But for now, live in Fishtown, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Howard, thank you.